High DF Gentleman, exclamation point. With rumours abounding of an imminent release of the Arc B770, is it too little too late for Intel? The GPU landscape is much different to what it was a year ago and prices seem to have settled. Is it even possible for Intel to succeed in an age where NVIDIA is seemingly unstoppable? Um, interesting question, right, Alex? I think ultimately my take on this is that um, uh, Intel has got to continue to create GPUs simply to iterate to the point where it can compete with NVIDIA. Yeah. And I don't think it's expecting to have any kind of major sales successes at this point for the reasons stated. But it does need to have a really strong GPU architecture that evolves to to be competitive because, you know, GPUs are so essential for stuff like, you know, addressing the enterprise and AI markets, et cetera, et cetera. This is exactly what I would have said. Basically, the GPU is so important these days uh, for the, the AI market, like you said, as well as the combinatorial power that it gives to a desktop or even a laptop. And it needs to be feature rich. And the only way you do that is by developing that core in some way uh, continuously. Because if you don't, if you're a CPU company now and you're not working on GPUs, there's almost no reason why anyone would pick up your product then for their laptops, for their enterprise solution, whatever. There's really, you just need that stuff. And I think that's why they're going to continue with it. What exactly the B770 will offer, though, at release is going to be interesting because I'm not exactly sure who I would be recommending it to right at this very moment. I also think buying a GPU at this very moment is a bit of an awkward position, uh, unless you are just want to like. I always say this, but if you're just someone who's only playing like the forever games, like your Fortnites and your CS2s or whatever, your Valorants, then then you have maybe always a GPU choice. But right now, I think if you're in the market for something that you want to last for three to five years, and it's like a triple A targeting gpu then i think the choices you have right now are a little bit rock in a hard place because i think the rdna4 offering is great but is not as flexible as the nvidia side for covering stuff like path tracing but at the same time i think the nvidia side i'm really not so happy with the the layout of the gpus in that stack below the 5080 so this could maybe upset that a little bit and offer a, a separate alternative but for that to be the case i really think intel needs to bring out much like amd will be bringing out soon enough some sort of project redstone alternative they do have their machine learning um uh xcss which is great and they have xcss2 for frame gen but they also need the ability to start doing path tracing i think as well as the ability to uh, have their own path tracing denoiser. If AMD is going to have it, Intel needs to have it too. Otherwise, their the recommendation for them for something that's targeting AAA becomes much harder for me to say mm. as, a, as a reviewer. So I think they need to keep up on the software front as much as possible. Uh, yeah, I mean, my thoughts on the B770. I mean, the the existing cards we got, the B580, are kind of like 4060 to 4060 Ti tier. So you, you can expect it to be a tier higher than that. So maybe, you know, to, to 50, 60 TI standards. So it's going to come down to like, okay, it's going to need to have um, 16 gigabytes, 12 mm -hmm. minimum. It's going to need to be cheaper. It's going to put Intel in a in a bit of a tight place. But, you know, Gorguts' uh, contention here was like, okay, Intel put out this really cheap GPU at a time where it was difficult to buy GPUs. But what's missing there is the fact that they didn't actually put out that many of them. Right. So it barely made an impact anyway. I think it's just, you know, they, they need to get GPUs out there because they need to put the R&D in and they need to get a product out. Um, any thoughts there, John? All I got to say is... Intel's GPUs got me through Jurassic Park Trespassers when my Voodoo 2 didn't. The Intel i740, it played Trespasser without glitches in the water. Uh, the Voodoo 2 could not on my system. Yeah, yeah. So, that, you know what? Is that a frame buffer issue? Like, I'm curious, did the 740 have I like 8 versus the 4 or whatever? I, don't, I can't even remember uh, how much a Voodoo no. 2 has. 
it if you had eight or twelve, yeah, eight or 12 depending yeah, on the sorry. model. No, it was a problem with um I don't know. I I never <laughs> actually solved it back then, but like the water and trespasser on my PC at the time on the Voodoo uh, was just corrupted texture. And because the water was an animated like ripple texture that would respond to player movement, I needed to see the water. Uh, so Damn I used an Intel I seven forty as my main two D slash three D card and it got me through it. You know, it was a little dithered, but I love that <laughs> little, little card. That, that little AGP card, you know, mm-hmm, the yep. i740. Not a bad little card. Yeah. I'm just going to say it. So, you know what, Intel? Like, keep, keep going, buddy. Your you're going you're gonna to get there someday. <laughs> <Absolutely>. Okay. <laughs>